We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving back on into Circuit Superstars. And a uh, big shout out and thank you once again to Square Enix for hooking me up with this. And this is actually one of the things that the Square Enix Collective has done. If you guys are not familiar with what they do, I it, it could have changed over the years. But I believe they are actually out looking for, you know, cool, interesting, and exciting indie games and actually publishing them. So Square Enix is taking kind of an indie initiative. So pretty cool stuff. I think I've covered a couple of Square Enix um collectives games i want to say uh it's on the tip of my tongue there was one that was a was a tactical turn-based game i think it had card mechanics i can't remember it off the top of my head maybe zodiac legion or something zodiac children of zodiacs or something something along those lines was one and then this game i believe is also another anyway enough of that Let, let's dive back on in and see what we can get ourselves into so we did the pacino cup we did the super lights trophy you know what I, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm like, you know what? Let's go. I'm not. I'm not comfortable moving a little bit further. Let's uh, let's stick with going down the line. We're gonna stay at the amateur level because uh, bad bumpy is bad. But hey, I like the bonk truck. Let's uh, let's get after it. Uh, only thing we can do is change the color. Ooh, that looks really cool actually. I mean, we don't fit as a driver in that truck, but yeah, we'll stay with the we'll, we'll stay with the red. Why not? That's kind of what we did with our livery. Or, or live livery. It's fine. All right, Copperwood Euro Truck Meeting. It is time. All right, I've not done this obviously. Um, hopefully it's okay. All right. Whoa! I forgot how how slippy the the. Oh, the, this is gonna be bad, folks. I'm just I'm letting you know right now. I forgot how slippy this stuff is. That I gotta use my brakes. I will utilize uh, opposing trucks to help me catch back up, if at all possible. Oh well, I mean, can I can I do it from here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You're so slow in the pit. Oh no! It's all right. We we gonna have a good time. Like I said, we're using the. Uh, Opposing uh, trucks to kind of help us here a little bit. Oh, I hit that wall badly, as I'm sure you noticed. Oh my god, the car just does not handle at all like the others. Kind of wish I maybe ran through something with a... Like, at least a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. That wasn't so bad. Like maybe a little bit of practice with each and every vehicle. I have no idea what position I'm in. Oh, I'm in second? Really? First is really far ahead of me, though. I mean, I'd be pretty happy if we can even see first place. Oh, we did. Oh. And then we crashed into everything known to man on the way through. I mean, maybe. You know, they say where there's a will, there's a way. I don't, I don't know if I believe in that, but where there's a bumpy, sometimes he does things that make other people lumpy. I, I, I don't know. That's a terrible phrase. But I've been, you know, talking with the legal to try to get them to change it, but they just refuse. So there's a lot of lumpy people running around, I guess. I, I think maybe that's where obesity comes from. It's my fault. I'm sorry. You know, delicious, good things taste delicious and good. Why would you not want to eat them? We did it. We recovered from, like, the most disastrous start of all time. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, I totally forgot how, how everything felt. It, it's been about a week. And I, like I told you guys, I was going to come back to this, try to come back to this, like, once every week or so and do, a, a you know, an episode and probably do, like, two uh, circuits or what have you. And I'm like, okay, this is, oh, oh no. And the trucks handle way different than all the other vehicles that we've done so far. And by the, all the other vehicles, I mean the two. The two that we've done. So, yeah, that took a little bit. You saw how that went. It Not, not good. Not real great. 
Okay, that, that felt pretty good though. That one did. Okay. Not, not too, too bad. We, we lost a little in the dirt there, but I'm okay with it. Again, could have gone slightly better. Could have gone a lot worse. That definitely could have gone better. I, I Like, I'm hoping everybody else is, like, crashing into each other, you know? Like, give me a nice, comfortable lead. So when I do all these really bad moves, it doesn't cost me too badly. See, that's the dream. Get a, a, a sizable enough lead that I don't really have to worry about driving well. I just need to not drive horribly, and it's all good. You know, do what you can so you can be at least average. And never excel. Ooh, that felt good. That was, that was a decent turn. I feel like I'm doing okay despite everything. My dog is waking up in the background of here. She's always got a... She's always congested. Like, snotty nose syndrome. I know, it's weird. Never really had a dog like that before. And nor have I ever seen or heard of one. But, hey, that's my dog's life. Anyway, so she wakes up and she's always like... Psh sneezing a little bit here and there so you can always tell when the little demon wakes up I say my puppy I mean she's 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 an old lady at this point she's not a puppy but she still likes to play she still has vim and vigor and life in her and and, and I loves her I loves I loves little Katie she is a joy Okay, I think we're doing decent. We're actually really putting some distance between us and our our opponents. I like that you can brake and gas at the same time, and it kind of works. Like, it lets you do stuff a little bit differently than if you brake, or if you let off the gas and then you brake. It's interesting. Like, there, there's, there's definitely more layers to this than what you would think of or when you see it on the outside, you know, outside looking in there, there's a bit more under the hood, <laughs> so to speak. Sorry. Sorry. I had to do it. I may lapse. No, I won't. Like I may actually lapse someone. If we were going on an eight lapper on this one, probably. But I don't think we'll do it on this one. Ooh, that felt good. That felt real smooth. That did not feel very smooth. That felt very unsmooth. That felt like the back end of a porcupine smooth. Which, uh, it's not smooth. And scene. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself, Debbie Preston. That is your real name. Bonk. It's the Bonk Patrol. Alright, so it looks like we've got this well underway. Again, unless tragedy strikes, I think we're okay. You know what? What if... What if we let everyone pass us? And then we go... Oh, wait. We're not in the front. Oh, they're all ahead of us. Okay. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to wait three seconds. Alright, we're good to go. Let's get to it. And no, this isn't like confidence or cocky or arrogant. I want to see how I do from behind where I can't just use the opposing drivers as uh, basically bumper pads to get me ahead. I mean, I'm still absolutely going to do that, don't get me wrong. It is going to happen, but not quite as quickly as before, maybe. Uh, it is harder to get past the wall. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually mildly annoyed slash, slash impressed. Oh, I almost, I almost screwed that up. I think this is going to be where I'm going to have to make up the time. Move out of the way, guys. I don't even know which car I am or truck I am. There I am. I sees me. <sighs> no, too far out, too far out. It's okay. Ugh. 
Yeah. Uh, get around that corner. Show them what's up. This dude. Dude just trying to show me how to do things. Alright, so we got we got our lead back. It took us well, you know, a little bit more than a lap. We got most of our lead at the uh I believe at the oh well, most of our lead. We got up through the pack most of it at the straightaway there at the start or the end of the last uh, the first lap, the beginning of the second one. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. So you know what? I don't I don't know what it is, and I I I'm not complaining. I'm very, very happy, but uh, Square Enix has been showing me a lot of love lately, and, you know, it feels really good. I've been doing this for an incredibly long time, folks. Eight years of my life coming up on uh, November 4th, and there's been a few companies that I just hadn't really been able to make any headway with, you know, and I realize the channel's small. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Like, I, I understand where I'm at in the, the overall pecking order here. Like, I get it. I absolutely get it. But... It's just, it, it's so appreciated. Like, I wouldn't be where I'm at now if it wasn't for indie developers, uh, big companies like Ubisoft, and several others that have just been super useful. NIS America, and I say useful, that sounds that sounds bad and wrong. It's not super generous and, like, going above and beyond. Stuff that they didn't have to do that has basically allowed me to run this channel and do what I need to do on the channel to make it as much of a success as it is. You know, like 99.7% of people that get on YouTube and try to do this stuff just fade away and disappear. Like, sure, there's a lot of content creators, but you have to imagine how many people attempted it and just disappeared and faded into oblivion. So, you know, I am very, very lucky, very privileged, and very honored to be in the situation that I'm in. Whether I feel like I should be further along at this point or... What, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'm I'm here. I'm still doing it, and and I love what I do. And you know, I'm getting traction with this truck for one. Uh, but I'm getting traction with you know tons of developers and publishers and AAA developers and, and all sorts of stuff from indies to AAA. It's a celebration of video gaming. That's what I'm all about here. That's kind of been my motto for the last year. I really kind of distilled everything down, and that's kind of the heart and soul, the core. Uh, granted, again, I do lean more toward the tactical turn-based strategy. That's what I would call the heart of the thing. But, like, the overall, if I had one one thing I would put forward as to what is your channel all about? Celebration of gaming. Showcase all sorts of different stuff from these old, this old-school-feeling racing game to, you know, top-of-the-line crazy action stuff. From stuff like Far Cry and uh, the Marvel game that's coming out, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I want to do all that stuff. Oh, we got penalized because we got pushed into it. So if I can do all these things and bring it to you guys and, you know, share it, that's great. So, again, a shout out and, and, and a thank you to all developers, publishers, and everyone who has helped the channel get to the point where it's at and has allowed me to do the stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Can you please get out of the way? And uh, specifically in this case with this game and uh, several others as of late, Square Enix. Like, it, it means a lot. It, it does. It truly does. This was one of my white whales for a very long time. I, I tracked down, I chased, and just never really got any traction with. And now they're, uh, like I said, they're very willing to work with me, and it, and it feels really good. It feels really, really good. So here we are racing and big old giant, uh, I guess, semi-trucks. We screwed that up so badly. Couldn't get off the wall. Couldn't get that extra turn to, to get off the wall. So I was kind of like just thrown into the, the pole there. I don't think that's what they mean by pole position. Just saying. Oh, I could have kept that curve. That eh, wasn't too bad. Well, we fought our way through. We've definitely banged our vehicle up. I, I'm wondering if like our vehicle's at like 91% damage or... Oop, I overturned there. Or if it's at like it's missing 9 health from 100 to 91. I don't really want to test it. Yeah, we did really bad there. We put ourselves in danger of uh, losing a position here. But I think we're okay. Final lap. Ugh. That is a brutal turn. 
I am not gonna lie to y'all. That is that is not an easy one to to get through. So obviously, I mean, I'm sure folks had said it in comments, and I mean, I kind of figured it out as we were driving along. But the the tire marks, the like the line, that's the perfect line you want to follow if you're trying to do the best. That's the line you want to maintain and go through. I clearly am not very good at this because I'm not following that line very well. But yeah, it's been it's been pretty great. We got Saga Frontier remastered. We've got Circuit Superstars. We got our hands on Act Razor uh, Renaissance, and I'm going to be getting my hands on uh, the Marvel Avenger. Uh, sorry, not Marvel Avengers. I apologize. Uh, the Marvel Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game, all from Square Enix. So a big shout out and thank you to them for again working with me. It's it's just it's great. It's a really good feeling. Vindication. I don't know if it's vindication. It's just cool. It's really cool. All right, so. I want to take a look at something real quick. I'm trying to see. I'm sorry if you're wondering what I'm doing here. I'm trying to see if any of the other ones had like gas or anything like that. And it doesn't look like it does. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just do this one. It's fine. Like you see up there, it's got the 0%, the 0%, and the 0%. I was just wondering if, like, anything was going to come of that. But apparently, no. No, it's not. All right. We're ready. We're, we're keeping it red. We're moving on forward. All right. Now, this is going to handle totally differently than all the other stuff that we've driven so far, just like always. So, uh, prepare to watch me crash a lot and be really bad in the first uh, lap and probably all the other laps, too. Oh, my God. It's so much faster than the truck. Oh, dear. Oh, oh but it turns way better than I anticipated. Holy. Okay, okay. There's a lot of brain power going on here. Oh, that spun out. Oh, no. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm pretty sure that's not something you want to have happen. Please stop hitting me, guys. I mean, I know I'm crashing into you. It's mostly my fault. Oh, my God. We're, we're going to have some, uh, some strugs here. Car handles pretty good, but when you're when you're not used to it, that makes it really rough, you know. I can't believe I I oversteered so much that I ended up in that rock. That was uh, very strange. All right, and I know this is where the the amateur. Uh, thing comes into play it allows me a little bit of leeway on straightaways and stuff to really play catch up when I make horrible horrible mistakes like it just did there and I'm continuing to do oh my goodness this is actually way harder than the trucks as I'm sure you've noticed Man. those top two guys are just crushing my soul here a little bit you know Why did you have to get hit right at that spot? I don't know that I'm going to finish on first. This might uh, end up being my, my downfall here. Like, this is really, really difficult. I feel like I did that pretty good there, though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if that's good or bad right now. Feels pretty good. Woo! No, we did it. Boom, baby! Oh, my God, that was 
That was that was so bad. I am so sorry. You all had to witness that. That was rough. I I, I felt a little rough at the beginning, and I felt pretty confident, and then it just went all downhill. I was like, man, look at this catch up. I can I can catch them on the straightaway. Barely. Now we're going back to the hip hop. The hip. No, it's fine. Woo! Let's get it. All right. I think this track should be a bit easier. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Just clip me up the front. And every other spot known to man. It's fine. Uh huh. You like that? You like that? Oh, was that was that fun for you? Yeah, you might have made the better line. I felt like I still won that uh, that turn speed wise. This is such a cool game. It definitely gives me that throwback nostalgia feel. I wish I remember what those games are called. Now I know there was a Micro Machines game. And this is, you know, kind of a throwback even to that. But uh, I'm trying to remember what the, the game was, like, Super Dirt Racers. I know that's not it. But you were, like, on a dirt track and you had, like, jumps and stuff. This reminds me of that. And there was, like, uh, I think up to four players. I think it was four players. And they all had their own little uh, steering wheel and, like, gas pedal or something. I, and I'm pretty sure it was a stand-up game. Like, you stood up when you played it. A gas pedal and a brake or maybe... Maybe there was a butt. I, I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. But that was uh, what the arcade games were like back in the day. And, you know, this kind of, you know, top down side view situation was uh, how that all worked. And like I said this feels very much like that. Gives me the same feels and, and like. Uh, it's it's de I, I would have to say it's definitely faster, smoother, and way better done than those. But, you know, back in the day. A, a heck, it looks a heck of a lot sharper and nicer now, too, by the way. The style of game. Not sure why uh, this kind of fell out of favor, to be honest. Like, I could definitely see there... Are, well, I mean, obviously, I, there's definitely a place for this in the racing genre. I don't, I don't know why there's not more of these. So, very cool. Alright, well, it looks like we're finally finding our footing here with this car. I say that as I go super wide. I know I had plenty of time. But we found our footing. We can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it now. We just had to break out of that initial thing and not get knocked around, and I think we're going to be okay. All right, we're up 10 points. I feel like we definitely got this in the bag. It's in the bag. So let's hope that's true. Oh. <sighs> I wonder how many more races we have. Two, three. I would like to see maybe a little bit more ooh, of a burnout. Ooh, that was that was pretty good. Like when you start off, or maybe even tire tracks, though that would probably get difficult to render, and you would lose that perfect line that you see after the first lap. Ooh. And I'm just going to use the wall and turn the wrong direction. And yeah. It's fine. All, all calculated. All intended. Oh. That hurt a little bit. Okay, we kept that nice and, and good. You're going to get away from me, buddy? Huh? Aha! I'm going to pass you. Aha! My brother's Racer X. Aha! See, I'm Speed Racer. You can't beat me. Does anybody remember that awful show? It was so bad. Oh, no. Let's use the pogo jump thing on the car to, to defy the laws of physics and gravity. And, and logic and common sense and... You know, everything. Just just everything. Alright. There we go. Ah. Those were the days. Nothing but bad cartoons, right? 
I'm sure there's still bad cartoons. Come on now. I don't. Any Speed Racer fans out there? I'm sure there's got to be at least one, right? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, that that went off the rails real quick. I don't know what happened. I like, completely lost uh, traction and just pretty much ate it. Well, if I don't do that again, we'll be fine. Hey, <laughs> remember what I just said? <laughs> I'm now uh, paranoid I'm going to mess up, and I think it's going to make me mess up. Come on. We've got this. Yeah, we do. Woo! Oh. Sometimes you, like you said, sometimes you get paranoid and you start thinking you're going to mess up, and then you start making all the mistakes. You start oversteering, understeering. It's like, ooh. But either way, we would have had it, I think, in the overall. Did we got our sweet, sweet victory. Huh? Huh? Nope, we got one more, I think. Magdalena. All right, folks. Wish me luck. We are car number one. I mean, that might be cool. Ooh, ooh, I over, over steer, steered. Oh, you clipped me. Over steered like a fiend there. Ooh, this is different. I don't remember there being a hairpin turn anywhere. Apparently, they're not very des very well designed to deal with that either. Ooh, ooh, I'm losing. I'm losing sight of uh, what I need to do there. It's fine. It's all good. All right, so hairpin turn, huh? Rub that a little bit. Come over here and pull on crazy turn. Another little bit of a little little wiggle there. It's not really even S turns. I don't know what that's considered, but you you barely turn. You just kind of want to hit like. It's almost a straightaway that you just have to, like, angle your car slightly for, you know? Alright. Let's do that. And... I'm right here with that, and here with this. Not bad. Not too bad. Okay, that felt really good. Uh, that last turn felt pretty darn good. PDG? PDG? Sure. Oh, that felt bad. It wasn't that bad, but it didn't feel good. Sometimes you do something, you're like, yeah, I nailed that. That was perfect. That was pretty good. And then there's other times you're like, nope, screw that up completely. Oh, like that. Screw that up completely. Too much of a turn. There we go. Car digs in and, like, really catches before you're really expecting it to at times. Other times it feels like it absolutely doesn't. It's like eh. I could do the thing that you're wanting me to do and expecting me to do, but I could also not do that. How do you feel about me not doing that thing? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. We're on the final lap. We got it. Ain't no thing. Whew. Our best lap was a 28177. It's probably like way higher. It's probably like 15 seconds higher than the best lap, but that's fine. Like globally, of course. All right. We're slowly gaining up on levels. Let's see what our win brings to the table. Yeah, I just pulled a trophy out of thin air because I'm mad. And then I put it away. And everybody has trophies. Oh, is this supposed to be bronze? And then silver, and then we got the gold. All right. Well, I think that went pretty decently. Uh, we, we definitely had some adversity. We uh, got beat up a little bit there. Uh, we had to fight back from behind quite a bit. But, you know, that's okay. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stick around the channel for plenty more of this and tons of other stuff. Guys, as you know, I cover a million different things at any given time. So... As I said, stick around, and a big shout-out and a thank you to Square Enix once again for working with me. 
and uh, I look forward to working with them in the future. All right, take care. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggins. Thanks so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.